being able to go on the road and you know go to different teams and you see the, the crowd that they have in the stands on the visitor side when they come here or when we go away we always outnumber them so i'm gonna have to say the community makes what this what this uh, football program is all about uh, i grew up in this town um, i remember as a little kid on friday nights in the fall is is a football night and that's that's what you did we walked over to the game and everybody went to a football game and, and you grew up with it and it just kind of breeds itself throughout the town it was pretty fun to watch and i just used to always I remember looking out on the field and just dreaming for my moment to be out there. Oh yeah, there are people in this town of Phillipsburg that have not missed a home or away game in 50 years. In fact, I know two of those people. And her mother before did about 65 years when he used to go by train. I read a quote in a paper once where a lady said, if you want to ever rob a person from Peabody, you do it on Friday night because they're all, always at every game. Every time we're on the road, we, we have more fans than the home team. So that's, that's just very cool to, and it's very special to be part of. People found that it was a way to get out of the town, uh, get a higher education, come back and maybe contribute as a teacher, as many of my coaches did in the 50s and even to this day. Many of the people in this program have gone on to Phillipsburg High School, went on to college because of football, came back and gave back to Phillipsburg High School. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, Coach Stem is an example of that. I also am an, am an example of that. And a lot of coaches, assistant coaches that we have here, um, they're examples of it. A lot of guys that uh, coach here with us are ex-football players at Phillipsburg because we want to come back because this, this is a, a great place to be. If you want to get involved in education, you want to get involved in coaching football, um, this is where you want to be. I also have other friends that coach in other places, and they a lot of times wish that they were in our shoes. You know, what's it like? How is it like to coach these type of kids? So uh, without a doubt, we're examples of it, and this is a great place to be at. Uh, it's important to these people because, like, they've seen the importance that it is to the players. And, and uh, therefore, it, you know, it works both ways. Emotion builds tradition. Tradition, anytime you have tradition, you're going to have emotional people. And that's what it's all about in the stands. They're up there cheering and screaming. And indirectly, the kids can feel this. You know, they do. You know, you might not acknowledge the stands and look up into the stand, but you know they're there and you feel that, I think. So, and that's what makes Phillipsburg football special. If you don't get pumped up to play here, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, I talked to a bunch of people that played big time college ball and they said there's nothing like it playing for Peaberg. If you can get that outside support or the community support, that's what you're looking for which makes for good football teams. And if you look around the area, Easton, you know, they have that tremendous support now, and Mount Carmel, Pennsylvania, some of the teams down in Texas, you know, that's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, everybody's into it in the town. When we lost to Easton, like, I had a lot of fans tell me, keep my head up, we played hard, we did all we could. And, like, just how we bring all those fans on the road, that, that makes it easier for us to adapt to the away environment. Like when fans come, when people come here to face us, they can see that it's electric here. But when we go everywhere else, it feels like another home game to us. And a lot of the kids too, when they graduate, ironically, some of them are going away to college. They, they use that as a stepping stone to go to college. And, and as of recently, a lot of them want to come back and coach. They say, hey, you know, when they, when they leave, uh, Ian Decker left us last year. He's at Widener right now. He said, I'll see you in four years. He goes, I'm going to be one of your assistants, you know? So it's always a good thing. They still want to keep a part of it.